Google's Android device manager finally takes a leap into mobile. Windows Phone 9 is already rumored to drop the Metro UI, and believe it or not, Sony just made the world's first micro USB flash drive. I'm Jaime Rivera, and just the thought of getting Windows Phone 9 and a Windows Mobile UI definitely gets me excited. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some official news as Google has just launched a native application for the Android device manager and you'd be wondering what took them so long. This application is really necessary for all of you if you didn't know what it is. It'll help you track your phone if it's lost or stolen and make it react if you can't find it. And it's great for you to finally have a way to do it natively and actually in a more effective way on your tablet as well. So anyways, make sure you download the application. It should be available to you soon. Now let's talk about LG as we've got some rumors of an LG GX being launched very soon, but just hold it right there. I mean, this phone pretty much has the same exact specifications of the Optimus G Pro and it's even got the same design. So we're assuming that LG is probably planning to revamp this phone into the GX and probably, I don't know, bring some enhancements or a different market. But in the case of the time when you have a phone like the G2, which is so much better, in the case of the G Flex as well, we don't know what they're planning to do with that GX. And speaking of interesting devices, one phone that a lot of us are waiting for is the Sony Xperia Z1 Mini, which is dubbed the Z1F or Z1S for some markets. And we've got this phone at the FCC right now, even though we're still not sure if this is going to be the Z1 Mini or what name it's going to have. But it's really interesting. Let's just hope that it keeps the same specifications as the global model, as this is pretty much a Z1 only in a smaller chassis. So stay tuned. Now let's talk about Microsoft as we've got some rumors of Windows Phone 9. Uh, apparently it's going to be launched in the second half of 2014, but it's really interesting to see that apparently the company is going to drop the Metro UI or the modern UI, whatever you want to call it. Finally, apparently they're going to either ditch it or make it better. Hopefully they do make it better. Not everything's lost right there, but there are a lot of things that people don't really like. And then an even more interesting news, apparently they are going to kill Windows RT, which is something we were expecting for Windows 8.1. So let's see if that happens. Second half of 2014. Those are six months. And finally, for the very, very hot news of the day, Sony has just launched a micro USB flash drive. And I'm, you know, I'm just wondering what took companies so long? What took them so long to bring this? We've been dealing with not expandable phones for the longest time. We hate them all. And now we have the option to do this through micro USB. And it pretty much works on every Android phone after Android 4.0.4, I believe it is. So you can pretty much just buy this and have it work on your phone because you don't need expansion all the time, but it's always great to have it. It's great to have this option. But anyways, that leads me to the question of the day. Would you buy a micro USB flash drive? Is it something that you'd be interested on? Because in my case, I mean, I love to have the option. I don't really need expandable storage all the time if my phone has 32 gigs or higher. But anyways, it's always great to have this option. So leave us a comment down below. What do you think about this? And friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.